They've made it into the palace, but it's actually the perfect chance to turn the tables on them. Defeating them all will turn the tide of war instantly. Taking a risk on dragging us back from the brink is the only option. Everyone, prepare for a bitter struggle. Victory to the Adrestian Empire! There are more enemies inside the palace than I thought. It's gonna take a lot to bring this situation under control. But if we defeat Edelgard, then victory is ours. Everyone, let's go! Our bashful little emperor has locked herself up behind the door of the throne room. The key should be around here somewhere. We need to find whoever's got it and take them out. If it's our destiny to kill each other, then I cannot... will not respect the goddess. My only request is that if you win, you'll at least have the decency to kill me quickly. Edelgard, forgive me. I can't. This should give us a bit more freedom of movement. Now, how best to attack? I cannot bring myself to kill you. You're a princess of Brigid. A hostage of the Empire. That was the truth in the past. But it is a different truth now, Shamir. I am... the will of the Emperor! In that case, I won't hold back. I can't be letting you pass. I will defend, and I will be killing all of you. We must be... must clear the way forward. For every person! <laughs> <laughs> Edelgard, I will not be keeping my promise. Give me forgiveness, please. We should be able to get through to the throne room now. Professor, I have been thinking about why I came to Fobian, to the Empire. I am here to be protecting Edelgard and to be stopping you. I wonder how Dedu's doing. I hope I get to see him again. <clears throat> so close. Must press on. <clears throat> Infiltrators! Kill them! Ineffective! <clears throat> You'll regret this! <clears throat> I must confess, I never imagined that you would be able to pursue me this far. I don't mean to belittle your skills, Professor, but you've far surpassed my expectations. Inform the troops. Destroy anyone who sets foot in the throne room. I cannot vanquish her alone. So I will join you in this battle. But if I fall, leave me. My only wish is for Edelgard's head. Your ideals. I understand they're not so far removed from my own. But without sufficient knowledge of this land's suffering, I can't entrust Fodlin to you. Perhaps. I dare say it's true that I don't fully understand the history of Fodlin. Still, I've seen many things in my life. Don't worry. I'll finish the job for you. Edelgard, return Rhea. Release your grip on Fodlin. If you strike me down, they will return. I cannot permit what you desire. You are a child of the Goddess. You must not be allowed power over the people. So, you're another of the Goddess's vanguard. You don't have even a shred of self-awareness, do you? Come at me, so that I may put you out of your misery. Professor, I suppose you think you can defeat me, is that right? But I will never give up. Even if my arms and legs failed me, I would still find a way to move forward. I will smash that false goddess and her minion into the ground. I will fight to free this world from her vile grasp. Edelgard, give up! We don't want to kill you! But I must kill you. If I don't, the righteous world I dream of will never see the light. Come at me with everything you have. For one of us, this is the end! Oh, it never ends! How many more reinforcements are they gonna launch at us? If we don't block up the stairwells, it's never going to stop. We did it! The enemy won't be able to send any more reinforcements now. 
clever tactic. It's going to be difficult to turn the tables now. His Highness saved my life. I won't waste it. Victory! Strike me down. You must. Even now, across this land, people are killing each other. If you do not act now, this conflict will go on forever. Your path lies across my grave. It is time for you to find the courage to walk it. If I must fall, let it be by your hand. I want it to walk with you. It's over. We were only able to be her because of you. This wasn't the conclusion I had hoped for, even though I... Never mind. It's over now. The important thing is that we won. Here, boy. A letter. An Imperial General asked me to give it to you. A letter? Let's see it. It looks like it's from... Hubert, Edelgard's vassal. If you are reading this letter, that means I have perished. As Her Majesty would never surrender to another, I can only assume she has fallen as well. It greatly pains me to think of this coming to pass. That said, as the survivors, I must ask you to settle certain affairs in our stead. You must destroy the threat that slithers in the dark. I am sure you must recall Monica and Tomas. Their allies yet live. They hold deep resentment against the children of the Goddess and the people of the world. And they are biding their time until they can exact revenge. If left to their own devices, it is certain they will eventually bring unimaginable calamity and suffering to the world. I detected their sorcery when you took Fort Mercius. I have deduced the location of their stronghold, Shambhala. You will find its whereabouts enclosed. There is no question that they are the enemies of everyone in Fodlan. Do not allow yourselves to forget that. Lastly, while I cannot say she is in good health, the Archbishop resides in a secret chamber in the Imperial Palace. I have shared the location of the entrance to that secret chamber with the person to whom I have entrusted this letter. I believe that Her Majesty will be victorious. Even still, I must plan for her defeat as well. If you wish to lead this world, I challenge you to rise to the occasion and surpass my estimation of you. Such is your obligation as the victors. And the only fitting tribute to all that Lady Edelgard sacrificed. Hubert, to leave a letter like this behind, you were a better man than I believed you to be. So, Rhea is alive, and the fight isn't over yet. Those who slither in the dark. It sounds like Fodlan will never know peace unless we defeat them. The allies of Monica and Tomas. Well, we knew about them already. I think it's safe to assume this is the same group who used Lysithia for their blood experiments. And they were also responsible for the javelins of light that destroyed the fortress. But who were these children of the Goddess who they supposedly resent? There's just not enough information here. I don't suppose there's any chance that this is his idea of a prank. If so, wow, good one. Hubert, 
Rather than writing a letter, you should have just told us before we fought. Right. We still don't know for sure if this letter is telling the truth. Let's go find out. You... You have come to save me. Is this... Is this a dream? I have longed to see you again. All this time. Is it truly you? Claude, I can see you have grown into a reliable young man. Thank you for supporting the Professor. And for rescuing me. Surely the protection of the Goddess has... Wait, Rhea. What do you know about the children of the Goddess? Children of... What is this about? Forgive my bluntness. Someone from the Empire filled us in on a few things. I know it must be painful for us to ask you difficult questions after such an arduous confinement. But we have no choice. We must defeat a secret enemy. Those who slither in the dark. Do you know about them? Those who slither in the dark? Apparently, they resent the children of the Goddess and the people of the world, and are planning something big, something terrible. They use blood for their wicked magic and are capable of dropping javelins of light from the sky, which are powerful enough to crush a fortress. If you can think of anything at all, please tell us now. We need to know as much as possible about these enemies in order to stop them. This is the critical moment that will determine whether or not Fodlin falls. Can't you see that the time for secrets has passed? It is true that there is a group of people who have slithered in the darkness and threatened the peace of Fodlin since ancient times. I am sure you have heard the stories of a man named Nemesis. Nemesis, the King of Liberation. He's the hero to whom the Goddess gave the Sword of the Creator. Nemesis was originally the leader of a group of bandits. He plundered the Holy Tomb and stole the remains of the Progenitor God. When Nemesis appeared in Xanado some time later, he already wielded the Sword of the Creator. According to legend, the Goddess gifted him the sword to fight against the evil gods. I do not know how Nemesis obtained the sword, or why he appeared in Xanado. But he used that sword to massacre the people there, the children of the Progenitor God. From their corpses he gained even more power, and brought war to Fodlin. That's completely different from what the legends tell us about Nemesis. A mere bandit like Nemesis, would not have been capable of anything so monstrous on his own. Aha! So Nemesis had accomplices. And those accomplices must have been those who slither in the dark. They used Nemesis. And this time, they used the Imperial Army to once again bring war to Fodlin. I finally get it. And I even understand why Edelgard was associating with them. Just as they were trying to use the Empire, the Empire was trying to use them. Rhea, there's still a mountain of things I need to ask you, and I will, but I'll leave all of that for another day. You must be weak after living in confinement for so long. Please rest for a while. My friend, let's prepare for battle. We need to strike Shambhala as soon as possible. You must not allow Fodlin's bloody history, the Red Canyon tragedy, to repeat itself.